Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today is another interesting episode of Free Friday and today we're looking at some very incredible places you can get stuff. But we're going to start off with the very first one that is Blender Kit. So I do know that a couple of you guys have not really checked this one out, but this is an add-on that comes with Blender. Of course, recently they've updated the library with some very cool stuff and I would like to talk to you guys about how you can get things going. So right now you can actually work with Blender Kit directly in blender 2.8 2.81 2.82 so we're going to go all the way to our preference and go to your add-ons and just simply turn on the blender kit you can search for this and you can just simply see blender kit asset library and once this is active you would now notice that automatically you have something brand new here which you can use to search for a whole lot of things if this is what you're going for but then if you press n on your keyboard slightly you would also notice that you have the blender kit section right here so with the blender kit you will be able to find a huge set of assets that includes textures materials and also models so if you're also thinking about how you can get some very cool brushes for your sculpting and also brushes for whatever thing you want to do you also be able to get this right now there is over 1800 free assets that you can get so how do you actually start up with getting this so what i'm going to do is just simply clear this out and right now you would notice that blender kit automatically loads up and gives us what we're looking for if you don't have an account right here you probably would like to sign up for an account if you don't have an account and you still want to work with blender kit of course you would be able to do these things and simply work with these beautiful sets of uh, models that exist here so we are looking for free stuff and how can we get free stuff you you can simply click on free only and blender kit would automatically shuffle itself and present to you some very free cool stuff right now you can notice that you have some very cool uh, free stuff that has to do with vehicles. so if you go over to the vehicle section and simply push on the button right here you would notice a set of vehicles that is available so let's simply you know take out the default cube I can simply click and grab any of the models I have just imagine how this loads it simply downloads this model by giving you this uh, progress bar that fills all the way up once this is filled up automatically you get a model so to every single time you click on a model you're just going to sit back relax and enjoy this very cool animation that happens then you get the model loaded in with this model loaded in if you go over to the shading section you'll be able to see the shaded version of this model right now you have this beautiful you know tool that you can work with and still talking about the blender kit let's just take a look at some other few stuff that you might want to have an idea about before you proceed to start working so if i jump back into this particular section where we have this and click on the model you would notice once i press tab on my keyboard right now nothing is happening nothing is happening because we've not told blender kit that want to bring this into our scene so if you want to be able to edit this and bring it into your scene and you don't want it to just be like a model that exists somewhere else that's just preloaded directly into your scene you can simply click on bring to scene and once you click on that the tesla motto that we've just loaded in is right here and you can proceed with making a couple of edits some stuff depending on what you're looking for you can do all of those changes here if you are also trying to simply you know take a wild guess and get some things going for you you can literally just go through and scroll around and see some of the models that you can lay your hands on and get so a whole lot of models are right here that you can start working with i would like to bring this sofa out and one more time let's enjoy seeing how this uh, thing simply loads which has to do with this beautiful animation and while this is loading i think we are also going to get this other one uh, right here so I would get this other one right here and you can notice that due to the file size, this one has automatically loaded. And there's also something I want to share with you guys. So I did see a couple of comments earlier asking if there are ways you can reduce your mesh size. So I think maybe this mesh is going to be a very good one for us to try this out with. So I'm just going to jump all the way back. And once you press the tab key, actually let's bring this into our scene. And once you press your tab key by having this selected, Press your tab key you would notice this is a heavy or highly dense mesh so how you can reduce your mesh size directly here in blender instead of using the topology or you know you traveling through 
what you can do right now is simple so i'm just going to go ahead and select one particular portion of this object and press a on our keyboard just to make sure that we have everything selected and you can notice that it's a very heavy mesh so if you go over to the edge menu right here you can go all the way down here and click on unsubdivide it's going to take a look at the entire mesh and it's going to unsubdivide this mesh by deleting several edges out of it so right now i can do this one more time i can do this one more time unsubdivide and you can now see that we have a very lighter mesh that we can easily work with so if this is actually something you are interested in getting a hang of directly here in blender of course this one has been available for a very long time but just for the benefit of those who don't know that this is also a feature that you have in blender that there you go so this button right here is for you to be able to find models let's talk about material so if you want to get materials you can simply change this to find materials and open up this you can take a look at the set of materials that we have here so these materials are materials you can simply get and by just simply clicking on the material you would notice that the material automatically loads up directly here so from here you can simply go through and get some very incredible materials that you might want to work with in your scene and if you're also thinking about getting brushes so brushes for both your painting and also for you know your sculpting you can have access to the brushes right here so right now if we switch over to sculpting press n on our keyboard go back to the blender kit and switch to brush we can see a truckload of brushes that we can have access to these brushes are not going to be visible if you're within the layout if you go back to the layout or to the modeling or to any of these other sections except the sculpting and painting it's going to simply tell you that you need to be within those mode for you to be able to get this so if you move over to the sculpting section you can now find a set of brushes that you might want to work with so for example if i choose to use the clothing brush and simply click on that you can see a set of brushes that i can get from here and i can also switch over to landscape and with that selected i can also have access to these ones so to get these as well all you need to do is just simply click and it's going to go through and download these brushes for you you'll be able to have this directly here and you can proceed to start using them on your model so this is very very handy and very useful for anyone who wants to get into sculpting or into getting some free content that have premium but wouldn't cost you so much to actually lay your hands on and i'm very very excited to share this with you guys and i hope you guys are definitely going to find this one very useful and incredible to work with so with this said let's take a look at the second website which you guys are also going to find extremely useful and we're talking about no other website today than the my free textures so i don't know how many of you guys know about this site but this is also an awesome website that you can get free textures from so we've already talked about a lot of places where you can get textures we are actually partners with sharetextures.com but then you can also have some very cool textures from this website there's just a truckload of them that you might want to actually lay your hands on so we can also have access to bouquet so in case you want to add this to your lens and you just want to make some very beautiful stuff happening you can have access to that and you can also have access to textures based off tags and colors and right now i'm just selecting beige and you can see that if i select something like red i can see textures that are related to red colors and you can have access to all of these things this is a very good library if you are interested in getting textures and i do like the idea that they have found a way to actually pack these things in certain collections so anyone who wants to get these things can actually get it like right now if you're trying to get some rusted images you can go through this collection section right here and get the rusted image and if you're trying to get something that has to do with old paper or gene it's just very organized and for anyone who is interested in getting this stuff you will probably going to have a field day uh, getting this so i do like the idea that these things are here and if you're interested in getting some more free friday stuff or even getting free contents that we've shared over the week then you should also consider checking the free content space directly in the description and go through that link check out the playlist and also see some very cool stuff that you might be able to find out there and for those wondering if they can get these directly from the website yes you can you can actually get exactly the same amount of models that you can get through blender add-on directly on the website and the cool thing here is depending on whatever thing that you want you're still going to be able to download them as blender files so i think the best thing to do is just simply stick to the blender add-on 
and download this and there's a huge variety of things to get so depending on what you want you can simply come through and check this out if you're also wondering how you can make trees like this we also have a video where you can find out how to make those trees and if you're also a fan of making clots there's also a video that will take you to a very cool plugin that you can use in making these things so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section the internet is here you're there go through download this use this and get some very interesting things going for you tell me what your thoughts are about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this then you should go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace